What's good, what's good, what's good? It's your girl cutie, the one and only. Yep, 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 that's right, your girl cutie. Here with another great recipe. Today's recipe, mm, chicken pot pie. Not just any chicken pot pie. Muffin pan chicken pot pie. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I hope y'all ready for this great recipe. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's get started, y'all. Cutie is ready, ready for this chicken pot pie. Yes, she is. I'm so excited about this recipe. This is not your regular old chicken pot pie recipe. Remember that, okay? So the ingredients that we're going to be using, we're going to use, I have some heavy whipping cream, which is right here. We're gonna have, of course, our pepper, some salt, some parsley flakes. I'm gonna add a little Worcestershire sauce. I told you this not too regular. I told you that. I got some peas and carrots. I got some chicken, and this came off of uh, rotisserie chicken that I had bought from the grocery store. I got my onions. I got my unsalted butter. I told you it's not gonna be the same. Your same old. Got my Parmesan cheese that I'm gonna add a little bit up in now. I got my full So we're gonna use some. All purpose flour. That's what we use, y'all. We're gonna use the muffin pan. We're gonna melt our butter down. And I got the fire on medium. And I'm using one cup of onion. Turn the stove up a little bit so see how it's getting hot now. All right, y'all, I added the onions. Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm gonna just add a pinch of salt. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God. That was a half stick of unsalted butter, one cup of onions, and I'm adding one cup of mixed vegetables. Look, y'all. Mm. Turn that fire up a little bit. Turn that fire up a little bit. Add a little salt. And you add whatever season that you would like to add. That's completely up to you. So I turned the fire back up a little bit. So that way, since I added the cold vegetables in there, that we can um, get that fire going back again. And we're gonna let this cook down for about three minutes before we add anything else to it. Mm. I'm gonna add two bay leaves to it. So we can get some real flavor in there. You can either add the bay leaves if you want or you don't have to, it's your decision. And we'll take them out in the end. Three more minutes, then we're gonna remove it because I don't want it to get mixed in. I don't want it to get mixed in with my other ingredients. So we'll give it about another two minutes with the bay leaf. Just want to give it a little flavor. Okay, we're gonna remove our bay leaf out. A half cup of flour, and I'm gonna stir this in like this. Now I'm about to add my cream to this. Mmm. Wow, that cream looking good up in there. Mmm. Get it. I'm also going to add a half cup chicken broth. Mmm. We want to stir our mix. Stir it. We don't want to have it too thin and we don't want to have it too thick. That's how it's coming together. So I'm gonna add 
some salt. Parsley flakes with some color. We're about to add our chicken. Mm. Yep. We're adding our mixing our chicken in. Mm. And then we're going to add a little versa sauce. Give it a little flavor. Mm. On about all the ass. We're going to turn the fire off. Just gotta cook the rest of the way in the oven. I add a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese to the mix. I told you this is not. This is not your regular chicken pot. Pie. Look at that. That ain't your regular chicken pot. Pie. Alright, so we're gonna move this off of that eye. Put it back there. Alright, now we're about to get our pans together. We are fixing our cups to fit in two. And if you need to adjust it, just adjust it. We're gonna fix everything in a minute. Yep, and just push the crust against. Yeah. Make sure your stuff is, yep. Make sure everything is pushed against. Okay, now what we're about to do, now we're about to take all this off. We're about to fix our stuff where it look nice. Where it look like the actual cup. Mm-mm, no. We're not going to have that like that. And you just go around it and take out, make, just make sure it's fitting in there like a cup. Like it's fitting in there like a cup. You just fold it back. I'm telling you, when we get through with this, y'all going to be like, wow, why didn't I think of doing that like that? I did not think of that. Cause you're not cutie, that's why. This is what we got. These are our muffin pans. And then you just take, put some more egg wash. Cause remember, we want crispy inside and, and out. Just add that egg wash. Mm, look at that. Oh, and it smells. Oh, good. I know I got to spread a little parcel of that for some, some kind of Yes. Mmm. get it with the parsley flakes y'all now we're about to cover it I'm sure that is the better way to do this, but you know what? This cutie way. Okay, make sure everything is still, nothing seeps out. Make sure you have slits at the top. We got all our slits, yep. Now, guess what? We're about to come back with this egg wash, y'all. Look here. Hmm. We 
want to get that all over there. It's going to give it such a golden, golden brown taste, y'all. I'm telling you. You're going to be like, dang, cutie. Girl, you did that. Yeah, I know. I know I did. And I want y'all to do it. That's why I'm showing y'all this recipe. Get all in there. Get all in there. Love it. That's what we got. I'm putting it on 350. And I'll let y'all know the cook time. Are you all ready for the final product? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did Cutie do that or what? Did Cutie do that or what? Oh my gosh. Look at him. Look at him. Wow, they came out so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yes, I told y'all. Mm. Let's open it up inside and let's see. Let me let y'all see inside. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. Mm, look at it. Wow. Mm. As always, head on over there to Cooking with Cutie on YouTube. Like and subscribe to the channel. So that way when Cutie upload other great recipes, guess what? You'll be the first to know. Hit that notification bell. These, oh my gosh, y'all. So good. So, 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 so good. So good. I cooked it on 350 for 30 minutes. Which was a little browner or however your taste is. But I cooked mine, cooked these 350 for 30 minutes. But you can cook yours more, you can cook yours less. Whatever, it's up to you. Wow. Cutie did it again. Yes, she did it again. As always, stay safe. Head on over there to YouTube Cooking with Cutie. Like, subscribe, share the videos, view the videos, hit the notification bell. So that way when Cutie uploads another great recipe, you all will be the first to know. So go on over there and handle your business.